refined sugar starts as non-food grade raw sugar. The first step in the refining process is receiving raw sugar from one of the Mackay mills. The load arrives by truck and is tipped into an automated unloading hopper that's connected by conveyor belt to the refinery's 1,000 ton holding bin. The raw sugar is delivered to the refinery at a rate of 55 to 60 tonnes per hour. The refining process begins when raw sugar is mixed with hot, concentrated syrup known as raw wash. This mixture is known as magma and its density is closely controlled before it's put through the centrifuge, where it's spun at rates exceeding 1,000 revs per minute. When the crystals are spun at high speeds, the sugar and syrup separate to help this process, hot water is sprayed onto the magma, forcing the syrup and impurities through the tiny holes in the screen. What remains is a fine raw sugar crystals. An added benefit of this process is the removal of around 30% of the colour from the original raw sugar crystal. The affined raw sugar is dissolved in hot water at 80 degrees to form melter liquor. The sugar content of this liquor is about 65%, the liquor is then passed through a coarse screen to remove large particulate matter. The next step is the clarification process known as phosphatation. This is where lime and food grade phosphoric acid are added to the melter liquor. Fine bubbles of air are introduced along with a flocculant. This helps bind the impurities together and float them to the surface of the clarifier vessel. This floating layer is known as scum. Once it's removed, we are left with clarified liquor. The clarifying stage is critical in the refining process, as it's where most of the impurities are removed from the liquor stream. The next stage involves the clarified liquor being heated further, then put through sand and gravel filters before being sent to the activated carbon columns. The activated carbon columns are where the majority of colour is removed from the liquor. The carbon works much like a fish tank filter, it removes organic and other residual material, resulting in a further 85% colour removal. Liquor colour is one of many parameters closely monitored by the refinery lab staff. Based on lab results, small adjustments are made to factory parameters to ensure the refinery produces a consistent quality product that is always in spec. Sugar Australia's Mackay and Yarraville refineries produce some of the best quality food grade sugar in the world. Once the liquor has passed through the carbon columns, it is known as fine liquor. Excess water is then removed from the liquor by passing it through a triple effect evaporator. This concentrates the liquor from 65% sugar content to 78% sugar content in an energy efficient way. From here, the liquor is moved to vacuum pans where it is seeded with CSR caster sugar to grow the sugar crystals. This automated process produces batches of sugar crystals that are consistently the desired size. The thick sugar syrup mix known as massaquite now moves to the final centrifuge where it is spun at speeds in excess of 1000 revs per minute. The refined fugules remove the syrup from the mix the amount of wash water added to the mix during the spin cycle will dictate the final colour of the sugar crystals. The syrup is either returned to the pans to grow more sugar or is used to make CSR branded raw sugar. Castor raw sugar, coffee sugar or the sugar crystals are now sent to a large rotary dryer where warm dry air is used to remove excess moisture. The dried sugar is then air conditioned and dehumidified in a 3,000 tonne conditioning silo. The final product remains in the silo for 24 to 36 hours, 